eye release. He had no problem getting it off and knocking it down. And Doris Burke has a report for us from the sideline. Hi, Kevin. The chosen one in their last time out against the Thunder. Boy, was he tremendous. He had 37 points and did his work from a pair of lines, hitting from both beyond the arc and from the charity stripe. He seemed to be everywhere on the floor the entire time and really was the star of the show, Kevin. All right, Doris, thank you. It really was a stunning performance, Clark. He was at his absolute best in this game. Yeah, and the only thing about having a game like that, Kevin, is that it's almost impossible to duplicate it here tonight. Well, but nobody's expecting that, Clark, and they don't need him to do that. If he's even half as good as he was that night, it should be enough. Carter Williams, the pass to Rollins. So a moment now to check out the story of Blake Griffin. Lately, he's been untouchable. He's been in the zone to see how his performances match up. Second in field goal percentage. And, of course, he's in the top 15 in rebound. He's a very strong presence in the paint. And let's look at his phenomenal field goal percentage again, Steve. I mean, that's really a function of good teammates, a good system. But most of it is just taking good shots and making most of them. After going scoreless in the first, He's really found a way to turn it on here in the second quarter. The 76ers trail by 16. Carter Williams kicks to Noel and stolen by Jordan. Ball against Carter Williams. Pass to Morales. 34 seconds left in the first half. Shot clock at six. The Clippers need to get off a shot. From deep, and Philadelphia grabs the miss. Now, Carter Williams. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Rollins. Blake Griffin pulls it in. Griffin's got five rebounds tonight. Passes to Morales. Shot from the wing. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Paul's got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. Thank you, Kevin. Doc, what haven't you liked about the defense thus far? A lot of things. Some of us love our turnovers, trying to do too much with the ball. Hey, guys. Great execution in the first half, but we still have a few things to talk about before we go back out there. We've taken a lot of pressure off ourselves on D because of how good we've been on offense. That's what I call locked in. Intelligent attacking basketball. I love it. Something I did like? Well, a bunch of times we forced a turnover that led directly to a bucket. I wouldn't mind seeing that happen a few more times after the half. All right, guys. Let's get out there and play a good second half. Welcome back, everyone, to the start of the second half. But we'll see if that gap narrows down in the third and fourth quarters. Just absolute domination in this one. For the chosen one, he's got 24 points, and those four three-pointers he's hit have helped him, too. Well, they'd be in a much different position in this game if he wasn't burying those long balls. So on the floor for Philadelphia. Rollins is out there with Arnett Moultrie. Then it's Carter Williams. Then there's Embiid, and it's Burks and at the two-guard spot. Los Angeles leading by 18. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Here's Carter Williams. Good. Carter Williams has got his team on the board first here in the second half for Philadelphia. Los Angeles has gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. Five of 12. Another three that time. A beautiful shot from Morales. You might not think of him as a laser three-point shooter, but that shot was there for him, and he had to take it. Paul against Carter Williams. And the pass to Rollins. Out to the right wing. Burks dishes to Carter Williams. Pass to Rollins. Shot clock at six. All alone. And that's going to be a travel. And here are some big men who, when they get it in tight, are as close to a sure thing as we've got. Here are the top field goal percentage leaders among NBA centers and power forwards. Fifth, Joel Embiid. You know, it's one thing to be able to create high-quality shots for yourself, but you still have to finish. 
And there's no doubt all those guys can do both. Yeah, every sentence needs a period. It's one thing to get the shot off, but you need to finish. You need to take care of business in there. Most of their chances are easy ones. They get it again. Morales, and he banks in the layup. The chosen ones got 29 in the game. I think we could be seeing a repeat of last night, fellas. He's just battling out there. Spencer Hawes has checked in for DeAndre Jordan. Turner's checked in for the 76. Moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Kevin, Doc Rivers was just addressing the plan with his team. He was intent on running the offense through Embiid. Coach emphasized getting him as many touches as possible, saying he is going to be one of the guys to carry us the rest of the way. Coach was not wasting any time in altering their strategy here in the second half. And Kevin, he's going to have to hope those changes take effect quickly. All right, Doris. Riven's shot is off. I thought he rushed it a little bit, guys, because he had a clean look, just lost his focus. Feeds it to Carter Williams. Back to Turner. Now here's Carter Williams, guarded by Hawes, and Moultrie kicks to Carter Williams. Shoots from the elbow, and the 76ers tack on two more. Wow, he was just wide open there. That's way too easy. Clippers leading by 16. Pass to Morales. And the shot is good, dropping in off the front of the rim. The chosen ones got seven now in this quarter. For Philadelphia, they've gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Right around three minutes into the second half. Now, here's Burks. He's guarded closely. Let's see how the 76ers have performed over the last few weeks. Third in steals, fourth in field goal percentage. And they also show up as a top five rebounding team. Yeah, let's go back to those steals for a second, Clark. I think that's such a key aspect for this team's success because when they get out and really pressure teams and force mistakes, that allows them to get easy shots at the other end offensively. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles, Harrison Barnes, he's checked in for Griffin. And it's Johnson in for Chris Paul. For Los Angeles, they have gone 5 of 7 from the free throw line in the game. And as a team, they're shooting about 75% on the year. And the 76ers making a change here. Marshall's checked in. They set the pick. Bazemore passes to Marshall. He feeds it to Bazemore. Tries again, and Embiid lays it in. He was the first one to react to that miss. Excellent anticipation on his part. A hustle play on the putback by him. Passes to Morales. From past the arc. Good. The chosen ones. He's got 10 points in the quarter. His work at the offensive end has been phenomenal. Maybe reason number one, they're ahead. Marshall dishes to Bazeman. And Marshall kicks to Noel. Over in the corner, Marshall. It's hauled in by Spencer Hawks. Clippers leading by 19. The pass to Morales. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. The chosen ones got 36. He's just been the man since the start of this quarter. And just a tremendous period of basketball for him. Bill Cox has checked in for the Clippers. We're out halfway through the season. Recap where all the teams in the West sit in the standings. Taking a look at Oklahoma City. They've been in peak form as we've watched them play some tremendous basketball with an eye toward the postseason. And, of course, the Clippers, two spots down. Checking out Los Angeles. They're really quite an incredible success story. After coming into the season with such low expectations, they've really turned the league on its ear. They've been very impressive. You know, I thought it would take them a long time to, to get all the pieces to fit this year, but... Little did I know that, I mean, those pieces were already in place, seemingly right out of training camp, Clark. He dishes it to Hawks. That one's rebounded by Embiid. 
Embiid's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Bazemore again, Philadelphia. 51 seconds left in the third. Pass to Morales. Can't hit. Good work defensively by Turner. The 76ers trail by 17. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. Well, you knew he'd win that race. Definitely. I mean, that's what you call early offense. Wilcox passes to Morales. Marshall brings the double team. Johnson outside. Passes it to Morales. And stolen by Noel. And here is Marshall. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. And there's the feed to Turner. One second left. That misses. Would have counted had it gone in. And as we end the third quarter, a double. Switch here. Redick is checked in. Moultrie's checked in for the 76ers. Alec Burks comes in for Kent Bazemore. Blake Griffin down low and DeAndre Jordan. CP3 at point with Redick there the backboard. And it's Barnes in at the three slot. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. Paul kicks to Redick. Just three to shoot. A fader. They grab their own miss. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. 76ers having a lot of trouble. He's got eight points, and he was able to come up with one steal, too. Yeah, he's defending very well, Clark. He's disrupting the, the offense. Uh, he's playing the passing lanes, trying to put as much pressure on as possible. The chosen one, he's checked in for the Clippers. Burks kicks to Moultrie to the inside. And it's Carter Williams that time on the assist by Moultrie. Six points for Michael Carter Williams. Los Angeles leading by 22. And there's the pass to Morales. On the money from 12 feet away. The chosen one's got 38 points. Well, he continues to light it up. He's the leading scorer in this game, guys. Now, here's Burks, covered by Reddick, and that's going to be a travel. Well, all these turnovers really hurting his team. He continues to give the ball away. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. Pass to Morales. There's the three. Good, and Paul gets the assist. 41 points for the chosen one. He's absolutely killing it from outside. The 76ers have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Burks dishes to Moultrie. He kicks to Carter Williams. Pass to Rollins. All alone. Whistle blows. That's going to be a travel. Wow, just a total loss of concentration right there. Well, those kinds of mistakes in this game is in danger of getting away from him. Pass to Morales. Let's it go from deep. Here's Crawford. And there's two points. Working on the glass paint off that time. The defense has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. Boy, I'd like to know how many of their attempts have come from inside five feet. It, it seems like everything is right at the rim. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Here's Morales. The rebound by Blake. That's one he knows he should have made. It's three on three on the fast break. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Farmo. Bullock passes to Morales and misses it off the right side of the rim. I'll tell you what, for what's really a, an elementary shot, he looked a little nervous on that release. To the paint, Embiid with it, and Crawford picks him up defensively, and Embiid gets it to go. You know, when the size advantage uh, is that pronounced, I mean, that's exactly what you should do offensively in this situation. Take it strong to the middle. Farmar passes to Morales. To the inside. A three ball, just four to shoot. Rebound by the 76ers. Embiid's got five rebounds tonight. 
Dishes to Roten. The pass to Paul.